Good morning, Pastor Foster. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Not too bad. I'm excellent, actually. Uh, you must be, because you've had a busy week out there, haven't you? We have. Uh, we've had a busy week. We're on Thursday, uh, day four today, began on mo- Monday, and uh, so we're, we're, we're finishing up tomorrow, but we've had an incredible week, uh, tiring but and busy, but uh, incredible at the same time. And, of course, a lot of our listeners are familiar with, with VBS. Uh, many churches have a, a vacation Bible school at the beginning of the summer. Right. Tell us about yours. Uh, well, this year uh, we've, um, we've decided to do um, with a curriculum, and this year the, the theme is Everest. Uh, so we're, we're beginning right at the base camp and, uh, and talking all about uh, the, the different things that happen at Everest. And, and the, the slogan, I guess you can call it for this week, is... Uh, conquering challenges with God's mighty power. Your VBS is very well attended by uh, children from your community, but you've also got an overwhelming number of leaders there. Tell us about that. Uh, Well, we have 120 kids, a little over, uh, that have registered for the week, and we have um, just under 100 uh, leaders, volunteers, that come from our church membership, come from the community, from even the circling communities. And uh, we probably got about 40 plus kids, or sorry, 40 plus parents uh, that are here. Uh, preschool kids had to be accompanied by parents, so there's a lot of adult leadership here. Um, we have a ministry and prayer team set up, and, and, and station leaders for each different station and crew leaders uh, for the kids. We have everything from sound and media technicians uh, to cross guards at the roads, the first aid team, uh, all these things that really, some of them are bigger than others, but all of it really uh, put together makes the week over successful. Now, of course, we've all heard the old adage that many hands make light work, but how many of these people are just kind of standing around all week? That's a, an incredible number of volunteers. Right. Uh, well, some of them are really busy. Um, Monday morning at 8.30, they're busy right until we're done at 12.30. Others are just uh, lingering around and making sure everything's flowing in place and, and, and everything is, is going over smoothly. And um, But, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. The, the leaders are really, they're uh, in tune with everything that's happening, and, and it's good. So at, at what point does it get to be too much? Do you have too many leaders to help out, or is that even possible? Uh, well, that is possible. We have, when we, as we start, we, um, uh, we sit down with my team, and we go over what we need, uh, how many of people for crew leaders, how many uh, station leaders, how many we need for first aid and all these things. And um, once we get there, the rest of the, if there's any other leaders that want to be involved, they'll usually sit in the back of the church or just linger outside on the, on the crosswalk or at the field where the games are happening and just make sure everything's going over smoothly. I don't know if, I, I guess I don't really know if you can have too many volunteers uh, with 120 kids. Um, um, I don't know if there's such thing as too many volunteers. And, of course, you mentioned that these volunteers are, are not only just from your church community, they're from other other places as well right yeah well a, a fair number of them are from our church uh here at maranatha tabernacle in triton we have a, um, a fair number from the salvation army church next door that uh, come alongside and help us and and teachers and, and those involved in the schools and and parents who just want to give up their week and uh, help us out we've had parents from away um, that are from here originally take their holidays during this week in the last few years and come and and help us out that week and all the leaders had to go through a process before they can become an, an official volunteer. And uh, they have to have a criminal record check completed. Uh, and we have to have that on file as well as um, uh, a plan to protect training, uh, which is um, a training session that they have to go through and complete um, just to teach them how to handle kids in a ministry uh, environment, in a church environment, and, and different things like that. And they're, they're full of, of knowledge when they go into these, into these positions. And, and, of course, you're very familiar with volunteerism. I mean, in, in your job, in, in a church community, basically it's built around volunteers and the involvement of, of people who don't get paid for what they right. do. But, but what does this say, this, this overwhelming uh, response to a call for volunteers, what does it say about how much people care? Well, it's incredible. I've been in a, I've been in a fair um, number of communities. I'm, f- I'm from a, a let's see, actually, a, an outport, and um, just these small communities. It seems like they just bind together when, when these things, when especially when kids are involved, uh, they just want to get on board. They want to get involved when they see good things happening and, and positive things happening, and uh, they just really want to get involved. And, and it's, it's the fun factor of it, and then it's the learning factor of it, and it's just a fellowship and the relationship building factor of it, and. Um, 
it's incredible. It really is. It, it will blow you away if you could stand here today and, and just see uh, throughout the week how, how the relationships are, are just moving and building and how things are just, it's incredible. So you say fun. Are, are these volunteers having as much fun as the kids this I week? I think some of them are having more fun than the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, listen, Pastor Mark Foster, thank you so much for, for telling us a little bit about uh, what's happening out in Triton this week and about the great uh, community that you've got out there. Yeah, good. We're, we're glad you were interested and, and wanted to hear about it, and um, we'd share it as so much as we can.